Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about .NET development. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I've been listening f to you for quite some time now and I really appreciate the time and effort uh, you put, uh, you do. A uh, huge help for people like me in the start of my career. Thank you, that is very nice to hear. That's what I, why I make these little videos. I have a question. I got offered a position at my current internship, a digital agency. My role as an intern is a .NET developer. I'm currently studying a high, at a higher vocational school uh, in Stockholm, oh, so a Swede. The agency offered me this offer with the clause that I have to learn WordPress too, as they really need WordPress developers. So I will have a mix of .NET and WordPress work. I have no problem learning WordPress and I think it might be fun since I enjoy web development. My question is, will this hurt my career long term as a .NET developer or should I just take it and roll with it just to get my foot into the door as a junior developer? Well, uh, I would say that you have to uh, do a like a slight... I mean, if this is the closest thing that you have something like when it comes to lining things up if that makes sense if you have no other opportunities uh, which is like just strictly .NET development if that is the thing that you, you want to do then I say give it a try uh, WordPress uh, is a very established platform the thing that I, I just want to touch on here which I think is the most important thing to take away from this is the potential and I'm saying potential because I have no idea what this company is about. I don't know what they're doing, but from what you're describing, I see that there could be a risk here. It could be completely benign. It could be the most innocent thing in the world, but I've seen this happen before. So what they do is, they, since they specifically say that you need to learn WordPress, uh, it might be the case that you find that 90% of what you do is the WordPress stuff and then they have one little system somewhere that does something with .NET where you barely touch that thing. You see where I'm going with this, that if you need both it might be the case that the distribution of time is warped. And if that is the, sin if that is the case, uh, yes, then you are damaging your long-term career as a .NET developer. It's it's not that I, I'm saying that you shouldn't take the job. What I'm saying is that I think that you should think about, like you can go there, and this, this is just me saying what I think, well, what I would have done. If you are genuinely interested in learning WordPress, then go and learn WordPress. It's, as I said, it's a big platform. It's an established type of thing. Uh, on the other hand, it's unlikely that if you go, if your desire is to become a .NET developer, that you're going to have all that much of a return on investment on learning WordPress. Because, I, honestly, I think that this is the first time where I've heard that they are looking for WordPress and .NET. Like to have that as a combination. That I mean, it is a digital agency after all, so I can. It makes sense to me in my weird world, because usually digital agencies have like it's complete chaos between the pa the the projects that they usually have. Uh, with that said, I think that if this is the best option you have right now, try it out, see how you like it, and be on the lookout for what I was saying. If you see that your distribution of work is mostly WordPress and almost no uh, .NET, start immediately to try to leverage the fact that you have employment now. Because that's the thing, right? This, okay, as you, you, you identified this yourself as well. Just having your foot in the door, so to speak, through this agency. That has value to you if you want to find another job, because that's the thing. If you're, you're working, you've already, you, you vote, now you're all gaining that, that momentum, that benefit that I've been talking about. That's also important work experience. And it doesn't re, I mean, in the early, early stages of your career, it usually doesn't matter all that much at the end of the day if you are spending all your time with like .NET development or if you're doing something like a, a mix of things, if you want to become a .NET developer at the next stage, because if somebody's going to hire you, let's say that you're there for a few months or say a year or something like that, the next place that you're going to go to, they're still going to view you 
as a junior developer. So you're still going to be like forgiven, quote unquote, if you're not a master developer in .NET, even if the new position is .NET development. So you're you're getting a benefit from having a job. But as I said, I mean if you do feel fairly confident that there are other options out there where you can be certain that your focus is .NET, well then that would I would say that's a it's a better option. But that uh, that's always it's always a tricky thing. It's the same thing when you're looking for a job or something like that, where you might have a bunch of different offers and then you kind of have to figure out oh, okay if I I have these different companies and which one should I pick and then you try to apply for several jobs and then some one job gets back before another job and they want to hear a response if they're going to take it or not like it's always a little bit of a gamble these sorts of things but as I said it's always it, it, it's always a good thing for you in general terms to have something already like to to have existing employment and when you go and find the next thing but it's not always a requirement, especially, I mean, if you're straight out of call, if you're, you're coming out of school at this point, uh, it's, uh, you can afford to skip this thing and go into the next thing. I'm just suggesting to you that, think about it. If you don't think that there's all that many other options, you can look with your classmates, like how easy is it for them to find things? Do they have any leads? And if you have nothing, take the job and do as I said, like you use this position to figure out uh, what the distribu distribution of work is and whether or not uh, you can leverage that to get the next employment. Or maybe this is the best thing in the world for you. So what I want you to take away from this is basically if you're ever in that position where someone tells you like uh, they're looking for specific things such as in this case they want you to be a WordPress developer, when they say something specific like that, uh, you should. I'm, I'm not saying that you should look at it as a red flag. It could be a red flag, but I think that it's it's really hard to say because. Uh, it might not be. The reason why I'm a little bit hesitant is that because WordPress is an entire platform. If they said, well, well if, as an example, if they had said that, well, if you're going to do work here, you're going to have to learn how to use React or Angular or Vue or something like that, that would make me feel very confident and calm because basically that means that they want you to be a full stack developer. And that means, for sure, that means that you're going to do a fairly equal amount ish I hope at the very least between de .NET development and the front end stuff but WordPress is an entire platform it's not like it's it, you don't use .NET together with WordPress which means that you're going to be exclusive usually it's not like your daily job in uh, it, as I said I'm projecting here, I don't know but it, I see I find it hard to imagine that you're going to do an equal amount of work on .NET and WordPress development so that's why you need to look out for where are you spending your time and if you feel that 90% of the time is spent on WordPress and your goal is to be a .NET developer then leverage the fact that you have employment now and start applying for the next job and just explain to them that and you be tra be transparent there's no shame in this because well if your desire is to be a .NET developer and the next and you explain to the next company that the reason why you're moving to this new company you're looking for that position is because you feel that you're doing more other stuff than .NET then you feel that you want to do more of that stuff uh, that's going to be completely understandable so even if you're just at this agency for a few months or like six months or a year or something like that that's going to be completely fine you're so young in your career that you're not going to hurt your long-term goals by taking this job. But as I said, if you're unsure, look around a little bit, see if there's something that is even better, a better fit for you. Have a great day.